Good morning, Steph. With our health care system pushed to the brink during this third wave, the province says it's preparing to open a field hospital in Toronto. The Ministry of Health says a mobile unit at Sunnybrook Hospital is expected to start taking patients in the coming weeks, adding that the beds will provide increased capacity to the health system. Hospitalizations have hit record highs this month with more than 640 patients currently in intensive care for the first time since the pandemic started. And here is a live look at Sunnybrook this morning. That field hospital set up in a parking lot on site. The government says hospitals will transfer non-critical care patients to these general medicine beds. It's a second field hospital set up by the province, the other being at Joseph Brandt. And more disruptions in vaccine shipments have forced several clinics to temporarily shut their doors. Centennial College, Centenary Hospital and the Thorncliffe Park Community Hub were all forced to stop vaccinations yesterday, leaving many residents disappointed. The drive through clinic at Canada's Wonderland also forced to close due to supply issues. The Ford government is putting the blame on Moderna, saying over 300,000 doses were expected April 5th, but that shipment was delayed and nearly 500,000 doses expected on the 19th now won't arrive until the 29th. This is a live look now at the Newnham campus at Seneca College. The site run by North York General will also be forced to close its doors on Saturday due to supply issues. To date, just over 804,000 shots have been administered in Toronto. Meantime, the city says it books appointments based on delivery timelines provided by the province and federal government. The issue is around supply. When supply is tight, it's difficult to, you know, expand activities. And of course, we're looking forward to seeing supply challenges resolved so that we can get as many people who are interested in receiving vaccine, those vaccines in their arms in the fastest way possible. Chief Matthew Pegg, head of emergency management for the city, says Toronto is administering just over 56,000 doses per week across nine city-run sites, but they could be vaccinating as many as 122,000 people if more shots were available. Premier Ford echoing that frustration. The facts are, these are just facts, we don't have the supply. You know, that, that, you know if you, you want me to make up a story on, on some other reason, I can't. We need the vaccines. We're, we, we proved. You give us the vaccines, we'll start rolling out over 100,000 a day. And the city has now clarified Toronto residents 18 and older living in hotspots will be contacted directly for vaccinations at mobile and pop-up clinics. On Tuesday, the province's first pop-up clinic was set up in North Etobicoke. The University Health Network says it's been forced to suspend bookings in three high-risk communities downtown after thousands already registered for a vaccine. Okay, lots to discuss today. We'll hear from Mayor John Tory in his weekly check-in as frustration over cancelled appointments continues. That's coming up just after 7 o'clock. And following Canada's first reported blood clot case linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine, health regulators maintain the shot is still safe. Risks of COVID far outstrip the risks of the vaccine at this particular time, that the safety surveillance network is indeed working and that when we see reports of adverse outcomes, that means that everybody is doing their job. Everybody is watching for these adverse outcomes. Instead, Health Canada says they'll be making some tweaks to the labeling by adding warning signs for healthcare providers to watch out for. Officials say it's basing its guideline info from the UK, the country with the most complete post-immunization data available. Adding chances of developing a blood clot after getting the shot is around 1 in 250,000. Canadian health officials say they are currently negotiating new contracts to secure COVID vaccine booster shots. The federal government says it's planning towards 2022 and want to have booster shots available in the country if it's needed. Most of Canada's current vaccine suppliers were already testing new versions of its vaccine against variants. Canada expects to have every adult fully vaccinated by the end of September at the latest. A Quebec politician is apologizing after he was caught in his birthday suit during a virtual question period. William Amos, a Liberal MP, was stark naked 
on camera during the House of Commons sessions yesterday afternoon. A screenshot of the moment shows him standing in the buff behind a desk between Canada and Quebec flags. The MP says his camera was accidentally left on as he changed into work clothes after going for a jog. Amo says it was an honest mistake and it wouldn't happen again. Okay, still to come in business, we're talking everything from means to money. This doggo, an internet sensation, now fueling the latest cryptocurrency craze. 680's Chris McCusker will explain next.